uh, Sienna Tyler was going down. We got Whoopi Goldberg. Y'all know her and her attitudes. Make sure you have the like with that subscribe button. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all stay safe. Y'all Indianapolis. We're in Indianapolis right now. It's snowing currently um, for All-Star Weekend. Um, I know a lot of people asking, Reckless, are you going to be out for All-Star Weekend? No, we're not. We're not going to be out. Uh, we're not going to be downtown. We're gonna, I don't like... I don't like the hype. I don't get the hype with a lot of people. I, I one one thing about me and what I'm about is I don't want to be famous. I don't want to be. I know y'all probably like, well, you put yourself out there, but at the same time, like, I don't want to be that person. You know, that's always, you know, and I'm not really good right now, especially with my anxiety, like talking to people in person. Like I'm not. I'm horrible with it. But um, I just we won't be out. You know what I'm saying, and it's and it's snowing. It looks ugly outside. I wish I can show y'all. But you already know. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button. Make sure you also go check out the game. Sound description box down below. Let's get in the video. Whoopi is mad. She's beside herself, shrieking about uh, being stuck with Biden. The other view hosts, they're trying to play it down, play it down. It's not going to work. So the chicken has come home to roost, and they're realizing, holy cow, we're stuck with this guy. Welcome to Doug in exile. This is where all the happy patriots are. If you're happy and you're a patriot, unlike Whoopi Goldberg, this is where you belong. Yes, he's old. Okay. So she's gotten beyond the denial stage. That's good. But the minute he stops being productive, and this sounds terrible, but the minute he stops being able to do his presidential duty, he's got to go. Forget doing his presidential duty right now. He can't finish a sentence. But I'm not I'm not advocating for him to go. I'm advocating for people to not dwell on the fact that he is an age that we cannot change. Whoopi is getting caught up to the rest of planet Earth that age only goes in one direction. And Biden's on the wrong side of it. By the way, every time we bring up age, we don't mean age. OK, so let's lose the whole we're against people's age thing heard this over and over again. This is about basic competence. This is about basic presence. Age does not play into that necessarily. I've met 101 year olds that were more present and peppy Facts. than Biden. And Facts. I've also- uh, Facts, and, and a lot of times, I, I don't even know. It's, it's one thing, it's a respect thing, not, you know, obviously to ask somebody's age, but when it gets out there, you're like, dang, for real? You just old? Or not this old. That sounded bad. That sounded bad. I'm sorry, y'all. But y'all know what I mean. That sounded bad. I'm sorry. But y'all know what I mean. You know, when you be like, dang, like, this person is, you know, of age. Sound a little better. Uh, no, 40-year-olds that were impaired that were less capable than Biden. So it's not age. And if he's 18 months ago, if he's bad now... You know, I, I need to see that. And if you don't see it, I got to wonder what you're using besides your eyeballs looking at Biden. Whoopi, you, you need to see it. Do you need more evidence? Because I don't want to just chuck him out. <laughs> chuck well, him out because he's a, old. Not because he's old. And that's, that's a good point because what they need to be doing to get the White House needs to get away from this narrative by putting Biden out there. Yes, let's get Biden out there. No. The, the White House knows exactly what they're doing, not putting Biden out here. And here, uh, Elisa Farrah Griffin is talking about how Biden got a free Super Bowl interview for million worth millions of dollars that he turned down because they know that would seal the deal as far as losing his entire campaign. So it's time to play hide the Biden. It was malpractice that he wasn't at the Super Bowl. It was the most well, watched event. Since yes, the it was. Landed. But how many oh, people did he speak to? But you already know who was going to be there. He was in that position. You already know who was going to be there. It's crazy. I still don't understand what she's getting at on that one. They made a decision because everybody bitches him on it. He's so old. He's not on TikTok. He doesn't know. So now he's on TikTok. Everybody's still mad. Everyone's still mad that Biden's on TikTok. Because he's still mentally impaired. See, they, they're not angry that he's not on TikTok. That's a symbol of something else. Everyone's anger at Biden is a symbol of something else. Like they're angry that it's not they're angry at his age. It's not that they're angry that he's on TikTok. They're angry that no one is driving the car. 
of America. Daddy is not awake. Yep. So he went to them instead of going where everybody wanted him he's, to go. He's do he's trying to get this stuff done. He's trying and he's failing, whoop He makes jokes I just, about it. I mean, I, I just, I, I know we are in dire straits. I know we are in dire straits. Now we're in dire straits. I'm glad she finally admitted it because that means the party begins, guys, when they're finally, oh yeah, they're desperate. They're in dire straits, dire straits, dire. Let that sink in. That means Trump is winning. No amount of snow and frosting over it. Ah, they're in dire straits. Just listen to your enemy. Listen to them. They're fleeing and screaming. They're throwing down their weapons and screaming. Ah, ah, it's dire straits. This is up to the voters. If the voters decide they don't want Joe Biden, they're deciding they want that other guy. But and I, that is that is the, that is the decision that the voters are going to make. Yeah, they're going to decide that they want the other guy because before they were lied to about the other guy. He don't even he don't even get as respected as much as to say his name, bro. Like y'all and that this guy, they were lied to about Biden. They were given like a cardboard cutout and going, we swear Biden is young and peppy and hot. And so they went for him in 2020 and they were told Trump was a criminal. And now they realize that Trump got scammed and that people put the wool over their eyes about Biden, that this guy is a psychotic guy that is not not good for America, opened up three wars, retreated in Afghanistan, lost our embassies, inflation up economic disaster, food disaster, oil drilling disaster. It doesn't get much worse than Biden. Not necessarily given all the information, but it is the best information they have. They weren't given the information because they were fed a bunch of propaganda by you people in media. And millions of people feel completely politically disenfranchised right Alyssa, now. That That's ship, gonna be that the bigger ship has hurtiest. sailed. Yeah. This is what you've yeah. got. Joy bringing a little reality and this is what you got. I don't think she realizes that Joe Biden isn't gonna be running. A fascist, a stupid- I feel like a lot of people ain't understanding it. Stupid fascist. It's not about the choice <laughs> you have. And here comes Sonny Hostin, related to slave traders calling Trump a stupid fascist who has zero fascistic tendencies to him. Okay, uh, where did Trump spy on people's emails and their Twitter accounts and send the FBI after pro-lifers? Where did that happen, Sonny? Related to slave traders, Sonny Hostin? I actually am a Biden fan. I knew you were a Biden fan because you're a blonde elite millionaire who lives on the coast. The people who are going out to make these votes, this is on them, this is on us. This is on well, us. We'll so, all vote. Well, I would hope so. But you know what? A lot of people say they will. And a lot of people are not going to tell you who they're voting for. They won't tell you who they're voting for because they're afraid of losing their job if they tell you they're voting for Trump, which is why he tends to under poll and overperform. People are going to be and prevented from voting because of voter suppression. And that's another thing that Republicans do when they can't play to win. They, suppress. they cheat. Holy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. All the stuff that we've been covering, everything that we've been covering in the last few months, the last six months, and what she wants to say that that's the cheating? Holy oh smokes, did that come from a Democrat's mouth? Oh my goodness. But, but, Trump, but, but for Trump to say, if, if NATO doesn't pay their bills, by the way, does Trump pay his bills? <laughs> uh, you know, do they pay their bills? Does Trump pay his bills? She just uh, it's lazy. It's just like you just throw the word, does Trump do whatever? And then that's supposed to be a well-written joke. Does Biden pay his bills? Does Biden's son pay his taxes? That was easy. See, if I had a professional writer like Behar here, I would not be feeding you these low-rent dollar general jokes. For him to say, if they don't pay their bills, I don't care. Russia can do whatever they want to those countries, NATO. That should be a warning sign to everybody out it, there, it including is. the Republican Party who are sticking with this criminal. Yeah, I'm sticking with the criminal because when you tell NATO, uh, we're going to let Russia do whatever they want with you if you don't pay your bills, guess what happens? They pay their bills. Trump already proved it. It's called a tactic, and you girls are all falling for 
what Trump says instead of what he does. He's trying to get them to pay their bills and in getting NATO to pay their fair share, he's going to save NATO. You dingling. Hmm. You're working against the one guy that can keep NATO from going insolvent and you just don't have the wisdom to see that he's two steps ahead of you, which isn't very hard because you're four steps behind. I'm Doug. It- <laughs> Make sure y'all hit the like button, that subscribe button. Make sure y'all put y'all comments and thoughts down below. Uh, it's crazy. She said something about the whole cheating. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we've been seeing a lot with that. And it, it caught in 4K on video. Make sure y'all hit the like button, that subscribe button, though. Definitely have an amazing weekend. More videos will be dropped, so make sure y'all stay tuned. Catch y'all next one.